Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on testing the normality of residuals in a regression using SPSS. When checking the assumptions related to residuals in regression, we know that the residuals must be independent of one another and must be homoscedastic or have constant variance, and in some cases must be normally distributed, and I'll explain what I mean by in some cases. But first, let's talk about what residuals are. So here are some fictitious data, both in the data view in SPSS. And you can see that I have five predictor variables for this regression and one outcome variable. So this would be a multiple linear regression. And I'm going to create a couple variables here. I'm going to go to Analyze, Regression, linear. I'm going to load functioning as the dependent and then hold down control and select all the predictor variables and put them into the independent list box. And then under save, you can see there's a wide variety of values you can select that are actually new variables that are created in the data editor. So I'm going to select unstandardized predicted values and unstandardized residuals. Click Continue, then OK. I'm not particularly interested at this point in the output. I'm going to move back to the data editor. And here you can see under PRE1 we have the unstandardized predicted values. And then here under RES1 we have the unstandardized residual values. So if we look at the actual score of functioning in this first instance, and then we look at what the model predicts. This is the value that the model predicts based on these scores, the scores of the predictor variables. You can see if we take functioning and subtract the predicted value, it's equal to the residual. So the residual value is the actual value of the outcome variable, or the dependent variable, minus the predicted value of the outcome variable. So now I'm going to clear these and add a couple more variables. So I'll go back to regression, linear, save. You see it retains these two. So I'm going to add standardized predicted and standardized residuals. So we'll have both unstandardized and standardized predicted values as well as both unstandardized and standardized residuals in the data editor. So you can see here the predicted, the unstandardized predicted values, unstandardized residuals, and you can see the Z here, so ZPR is standardized predicted values, and ZRE is standardized residuals. So the predicted values and the residual values have been converted over here into scores that have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, otherwise known as a Z-score. So now thinking back to the assumptions of the residuals, let's look at the assumption of independence and of homoscedasticity. They're both tested in the same way. To test these assumptions, I want to plot the standardized residual scores on the y-axis and the standardized predicted values on the x-axis. And I could do that here but I can also go to Analyze, Regression, Linear, and I'm going to uncheck the residuals and predicted values so it doesn't create new variables there. And go to Plots, and you can see here's the y-axis and the x-axis, and I can take the residuals, put them on y, the standardized residuals, and then the standardized predicted, put them on x, and then click Continue and OK. And you can see here on the y-axis we have the standardized residual. And then we have the standardized predicted value here on the x-axis. And what we're looking for here is that more or less this looks like a rectangle and no point is outside of negative 3 
to 3 on either the x-axis or the y-axis. And certainly this isn't perfect, but we'll just assume this is uh, rectangular enough to clear the assumptions of independence and constant variance. And it appears that it, it is. There's a few points that you'd expect to see here and here, but other than that, this looks like it would meet the assumptions. But what about the assumption of normality of residuals? It's important to understand that technically speaking, testing the normality of the observed residuals is not the assumption in linear regression. Rather, it is the question it's asking is are the theoretical residuals normally distributed? And we don't know that because we don't have the theoretical residuals. We only have the observed residuals. So when normality of residuals is tested, of course, it's going to be on the observed residuals. But even here, there is disagreement. Because we can't test what we actually would need to test, which are the theoretical residuals, oftentimes this assumption is not tested. Furthermore, for large sample sizes, it's often not going to matter. But for small sample sizes, you could certainly make an argument that we should test for the normality residuals. The other problem that comes into play here, though, is that if you were to reject the null hypothesis, if you were to say that the observed residuals were not normally distributed, would that change anything? Would you stop interpreting the results of linear regression because the observed residuals were not normally distributed? And we know, of course, that uh, the vast majority of times that would not be the case. We would continue interpreting the statistics and looking at the other assumptions. So even with this being the case, I still want to show you how to test for the normality of the residuals. And there are two ways, and you could actually do both. The first would be through analyze regression linear. And under plots, we could run a normal probability plot. You can see I still have the standardized residuals and standardized predicted values loaded in here. That's fine. Let's click continue and OK. And we'll see the uh, same scatter plot we saw before. But up here, we'll see the normal probability probability plot of regression standardized residual. And again, what we're looking for is that these points more or less follow this line. And there's some deviation here uh, toward the center, but generally the points do seem to follow the line. So we would assume we have a normal distribution here, that the observed standardized residuals are normally distributed. Well, what about the observed unstandardized residuals? Well, that brings me to another test you can run. So what we're considering here would be uh, the unstandardized residuals, this column, and the standardized residuals. And we would get a different result if we tested for normality uh, the unstandardized residuals versus the standardized residuals. And the answer is no. So if we go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore, and I move over the unstandardized residuals to the dependent list list box, and the standardized residuals to the same list box, and then went to plots and checked off normality plots with tests, click continue, and then OK. And you can see here under Shapiro-Wilk that we have a 0.247 p-value for both the unstandardized residual and the standardized residual. So there is no difference between the results. In this case, we would assume that the residuals were normally distributed because this value is greater, 0.247 is greater than 0.05. So whether you need to test the residuals for normality is up for debate. But either way, I hope that this video gave you a better understanding of what residuals are and how we use them 
and testing assumptions for linear regression. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.